Hi guys, welcome to Laravel Performance Tips episode and in this uh, episode I am going to cover how to minify HTML, CSS and JavaScript and we can improve our loading speed. So let's get started with an example. So let me go here and I already set up the Laravel application. So let me go to the, my terminal and run the application PHP or it is answer. Okay. And it's running. So now let me go here and go to the browser and run the application. And you can see that I have just created a sample page over here. You can see like a dummy post over here and header and footer. Okay. Now what I'm going to do in this example. So if I go and just say control U, you can see that I have a HTML code. This is very simple and basic code, but maybe you have a lots of like, you know, uh, uh, you know basically uh, you have a lots of uh, html code command css and uh, you know js file but you can see over here this is command and you can see how many lines over here so i have just say like uh, 439 lines but maybe you have uh, like thousands of line 2000 line 1500 line maybe maybe more than that lines you have so how we can compress this size because basically if you have a write the number of lines for example you have a 3000 line or 4000 line that means you have a like uh, you know uh, bandwidth that's using your server like for example 2 mb size of your page or maybe 4 mb size of your page and that mbs you're you know taking charge from the bandwidth of your server so what we are going to do this in this example is we will minify and compress this entire HTML page. We will showing same layout, but we will compress this HTML page, okay, with CSS and JavaScript. So I am going to use Laravel minified composer package. So you can see that over here, this is the GitHub uh, composer package, and they have recently added Laravel 12 support as well. And if I go here and you can see that minify for Laravel and they already showing the image like uh, they can, you know, compress until 10% smaller from the original file size. This is very small size like 280 KB. But if you are running like Google ads or other ads, then you have maybe 2 MB, 5 MB size of your page so that you can easily 10 to 20% compress. So they already return like 28.7 to minified size will be 25.7 so that's like huge compression okay and now let me go here and how you can use it that uh, i'm going to show you you can see that first you need to install the composer package using this command so just copy this okay and yeah let me go to the terminal and let me just install it so let's wait a moment to install that package Yeah, now installed and now let me go here and they are asking for publish the uh, configuration file so yeah, i will say yes i want to conflict uh, i want to go publish it so just enter and you can see that config slash minify.php file they have created go to my vs code editor config and minify.php file they have created and by default minify underscore enabled so that means true but you can enable and uh, disable as well okay and there are lots of other uh, you know minified like asset and routes and storage and like uh, with the semicolons and all the things they have given but you can go through in detail if you want uh, okay but right now i'm just using and showing the basic uses of that okay so let me go here and how we can use it so let me go scroll down you can see that we need to just append the middleware so automatically minified for your entire project so i'm going to just copy this and go to the bootstrap folder inside that there is a app.php so go here and there is a app with middleware just we need to paste it out over here and they have add minified html class minified css class and minified javascript so that means it will be minified compress the html compress the css and compress the javascript now save it okay and now let me run it over again our application so let me clear this php artisan sir okay and now let me go here go to the browser and just if i refresh it okay and control u you can see that it just a single line you can see over here so that means they have removed our comment and all the things so let me go and search for my comment okay so go to the resources views and welcome page and inside i have written this comment so copy this and control f 
javascript code so that means you can see that not found so automatically they have removed that comment so let me go and see bootstrap 5 cdn so you can see that they have removed the comment as well okay and then if i go here and go for this uh, css so you can see that how many lines we have written for css around it's like 10 lines maybe you have written like multiple lines and if i go and just find it you can see they have automatically compressed that okay so let me just say you can see over here border zero so automatically they have compressed it okay so you don't have to do anything they have compressed same thing for the javascript so let me go here and i will say just uh, postcard mouse over event control f maybe they have changed it so maybe at listing so at the end script yeah you can see over here and then we also return the script over here and script end and again script it started you can see over here they have automatically maybe i have already debug bar installed so let me disable it so we can uh, recognize properly so just full save it and refresh it so debug bar is gone and control u now let me go script you can see over here this is the script they have already minified it automatically so you don't have to do anything they automatically does it so like you can see over here so that means it's quick to load okay same thing let me go here and go to the documentation again and if i go down they already written how to minify test.css for example let me go to our uh, welcome.blad file they have i have created a new file call control p and you can see that i have written some css but let me go here and um, control u control test.css file and go to that you can see that it's file with like lots of file okay and uh, okay you can see that there is a 10 lines but i also want to compress this right now i have a css file but maybe i have a javascript file and that files that i also want to compress it okay so let me go here and you go to the documentation i can do with minified helper so let me go and change as set to minify save it and now let me go and just refresh it you can see that server error and let me what is the error okay so if i go here and make it true again save it refresh it you can see that cannot create minified route file resource slash not found so that means what you need to do is because if you are using the minified that means you need to create under your resource css and here you need to create the test file okay so that means test dot css over here okay and just copy and paste your entire css on that file okay so save it okay under resources folder css and here i'm going to save it okay now let me refresh it and you can see that okay you can see it's loaded so that make be careful with that you don't have to do with the public you have to go to the resource folder inside that css and js folder you need to copy and paste over there control u and just see test.css and click on it and you can see that it's become just a single line so that means it's automatically compressed as well if you are using the white for it then it automatically does but if you are not using the white then it's really helpful for you so i hope guys you understand this is for the compressing html and css and javascript code so that means it's quickly load your application and if you are using specially front end then this is the highly recommended this package to use it and you can see that they are recently updated for laravel 12 support so i hope guys you understand how easily we can compress and improve our laravel performance so at the end, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos about Laravel and see you on the next video guys. Thank you so much for watching guys.